Since 2008, synthetic drugs have created a trend that both authorities and healthcare officials are struggling to contain. Right here in the southern tier, bath salts have become the biggest drug issue in Sioux Bend County. WI's Logan Wilson sat down with the county's district attorney to see what challenges the county faces in stopping the evolving drug. Last week, Steuben County District Attorney Brooks Baker announced the arrest of 15 suspected drug dealers in the county. One of them was arrested for the sale of a substance commonly referred to as bath salts, but was only charged with reckless endangerment in the first degree. He's selling, his, selling people this, this substance, which, which we know is deadly, uh, and um, whether he knows what it is or not, he's advertising his bath salts for, humans, for human consumption, and that that creates a risk of death, and, and that's proven. We've had overdose after overdose here in Stuben County on this substance. The New York Department of Health defines a synthetic drug as a substance that has properties similar to narcotics or hallucinogens. However, it features altered chemicals to avoid penalization by current drug laws. Meaning, once you make one batch illegal, there is already another legal batch brewing. So what we have is a situation where people are selling something that acts just like bath salts, that has the same collection of very dangerous effects on people and, and the public health, but it's not a controlled substance under New York State law. Bath salts are one of Steuben County's biggest issues, as well as the entire state. However, because of its ever-changing components, it's difficult to charge people with selling it at the state level. What the federal government does and what some states do is they have what's called an analog law. And basically what it says is, is if, if this substance is being sold for human consumption and it looks like a drug and it acts like a drug and has the effects of a drug and, and, and it fits into some category, we'll call it a drug in that category. It's called an analog law. If it walks like a duck, talks like a duck, it's a duck for federal purposes. The state of New York does not have an analog law, something D.A. Baker has fought for, along with other representatives from the southern tier. We need some help from Albany here, there's no question about it. Uh, the, the risk that this substance um, poses in our community is incredible. Uh, talking to law enforcement officers uh, all over Steuben County and, and from other counties in the state, they're seeing more and more and more of this stuff out there, and it's very, very dangerous. The As of right now, there is no word on when any laws will be changed. Reporting in Bath, Logan Wilson, WENY News.